Good afternoon, everybody. Hello. It's our weekend. It is. And we are here at LA Airport and we are going to Honolulu. Well, we're trying to. We'll see if we make the flight. Yeah. Currently, there's how many seats? Eight seats available. And we're nine and ten. Yeah. So we'll see if we make it. So what you're saying is there's a chance. There's a chance. <laughs> so in the meantime, we're sipping on our Starbucks. We did a custom order. You can check it out. A little a little pumpkin. A little pumpkin drink. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, we, uh, we found it on another YouTube uh -huh. you know, idea. So yeah, we're just uh, waiting to see if we make the flight. We'll uh, see. We do have some uh, alternate locations in case we, we do. don't make this yeah, one. Yeah, we have three other alternate locations. Yeah, so, so we have this is our plan A, right. and we have plan B, C, and D. Right. Like Leia, a lot of non-revs, they, they know what we're talking about. Yes. So stay tuned. Update. We made the flight. We made the flight by the skin of our teeth. Our plans B, C, and D were Memphis, Tennessee, Tennessee was Paris. And back to London, but we made planning. Yeah, you know what? Good thing because I just brought shorts. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Now we're going to catch a ride share into Waikiki because that's where we're staying. Yes. Uh, you know, it's a bummer. We're going to miss out on some Memphis barbecue on this trip. I know. We haven't been there in four years. Right. But we're going to get some good local food. Right. We always have next week for Memphis. Maybe. You never know. We'll let's, see. let's go. We made it to the Moana Surfrider. So if you're unfamiliar with what it is, it's really on Kalakaua. So it's in the heart of Waikiki. And it's usually decorated for like Christmas. Yes. All those, stuff. all those pillars yeah. like right there. We usually have a lot of uh, Christmas decorations and wreaths. And this is the one that has the Honolulu Cookie Company coffee no, shop no, here? No, I mean, no, not, not cookie, cookie company. Honolulu Coffee. Sorry about that. Honolulu Coffee company. shop right, right. here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it happens to be just right next door to where we stayed a couple months ago, right. which is the Outrigger. The Out Outrigger Waikiki. Yeah, that's right. So mm -hmm. we are uh, right at the beachfront. Yes, So we're we going to go, uh, go inside, check in, and we'll give you a quick room tour. We just checked in at the Moana Surf Rider. As soon as you enter the door, give them a tour of the bathroom. The bathroom, this is a really nice mirror. That's your amenities right here. Soap and lotion. Right behind the door is robes and your safe. Extra stuff down there. Here's more towels here. Here's your supplies that you need, your shampoo, conditioner, body wash. Plus, they give you a bar soap. This toilet right here, as you can see, has a bidet. It's like the Japanese ones. This is what we have at home. It's like a Japanese toilet, warm seats. That's the controls right there. We are on the 13th floor. And uh, we have a city view and a partial ocean view, but uh, we have to show it to you tomorrow because it's a little dark. We have a king size bed here, good size TV, it has my name on it. Inside here, we have a good size little refrigerator. I don't know what size it is, but there it goes. No freezer, it's just uh, a refrigerator. It'll do the job. Uh, nice working desk. We have a hot water hot pot, coffee maker with some K cups. Uh, anything else? Yeah, nice. Uh, there's your air conditioner. Yeah, it's, it's nice and cool in here. Nice seat. Mm -hmm. And then we'll show you this in the morning, but yes. we have a balcony. Right, yeah, really cool. Now, if you're wondering how much this property is, it is right on the beach. It is, happens to be right next door to the, uh, to the beach corner. Mm -hmm. The one we, we stayed at. Yeah, just a couple months ago. So it's five ninety five all up, including tax per night. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, of course, there are cheaper options around Waikiki area, but we're like, hey, we're on vacation. Let's just uh, spend a couple nights here, and we'll review it for you guys. So if you guys are interested in staying here, then uh, you could consider it. This is a Westin property, so everything is kind of 
top notch. We'll give you a little resort tour tomorrow as well. As you check in, they give you a bag, a reusable bag here. Very nice. We have water in our room that comes complimentary. And then they give you a list of all the activities every single day. So you can partake at your leisure. Right, it kind of reminds me of like a cruise ship where they give yeah. you like the, the daily activities. Right, it's almost like a full-on resort. Just yeah, like yeah. when we were staying at the Outrigger, it gave you activities, it gives you activities here too. Monday night, 78 degrees, very light wind. Right across the street is the International Marketplace. I know their eateries on that third floor are still open right, at 10 o'clock. This is where we stayed, uh, as we mentioned, the Outrigger Waikiki. Last time we were here. Right. And uh, a few shops are still open. Yeah, and you can see there are a lot of people still out. We made it to some late night eats. We're mm -hmm. going to try out the Poo Poo House. Yes. Yeah, we cut a hot tip on Amanda and Felix's video. And uh, we had a hard time last time looking for late night eats. Right. Everything closes around 10 o'clock right. around, around a restaurant time. Mm -hmm. And so these little offshoot places, this is not very far from the main area. No, like maybe 100 feet in. Yeah, from the main area, right across the street from a Irish bar. Right. And now uh, we're going to go try it out. It looks a little empty right now. It's yeah. Like Monday night. Yeah, perfect. We don't it's have open, to wait. Yep, and it's open till 1 a.m. Again, we are here for happy hour, and these are the foods they have available at happy hour. So we're gonna get the Kahlua pig fried rice. These, these are the ones here. Oh, oh. Mood lighting. Mood lighting, and yeah. Darkened it just a little bit. And anything on the back? No. And here is the menu. The menu looks really good. They have it a does. lot of items mm -hmm. here. So we ordered um, one fish dish in addition to the uh, Kahlua pig fried rice. Mm -hmm. Here's the inside right here. Yeah, yeah, just look, yeah, look at that. We'll include a link to the restaurant in the description below so you can check out their menu. Yes. But um, yeah, everything looks delicious. Everything looks really good. And their drinks. And what's neat about their back scratcher one, they're sold out of this one right now, but what's neat about the back scratcher one is on the back, it has their name right oh, yeah. there. Uh -huh. That's pretty cool. And you got one of these on the list here. I kind of went basic and got a pina colada. Yeah. And this is the bottom. If you didn't see the bottom, we saw the food, yeah. but this is the, what the drink specials they have at happy hour. Yes. All right, now, uh, now we're gonna wait. Can't wait. We got our drinks. Yes. I got my uh, tried and true pina colada. What you get? And I got the minor bird. The minor bird is, I have my cheat sheet here, is tropical azaya rum cocktail with local Li Hing flavor and pineapple juice. Wow. Oh. That sounds like a pretty good tiki rum, drink. Li Hing and pineapple hey, juice. Cheers, babe. Oh, cheers, babe. Cheers. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm like, I almost forgot. Perfect. Oh, wow. This is delicious. Babe. Yeah, this is a perfect uh, pina colada. Yeah. Refreshing. When that first comes out, you can taste a little rum in there. You can really taste the li hing in here with that little bit of pineapple. Who doesn't like li hing and pineapple? They recommend it then. Mm, dangerous drink because you can barely taste the rum. Oh, really? Yeah, tell me, babe. That's pretty good. Yeah. If you're a li hing fan, which is that little sweet salty savory mm -hmm. with pineapple juice and rum this is the one to get this that is, is a, delicious that is a good one it yeah. is a good one this is the kalua pig fried rice with fresh spinach this is the happy hour menu good serving size we ordered two dishes so we can share and it's getting busy so they have a lot of late night eaters so gonna go ahead and try this fried rice out mm. Mm, delicious you can taste the garlic in there. Taste the garlic. You can taste the meat. It tastes like lap chung, which is interesting because I know it's Kahlua pork, but wow. Yeah, they mm. shredded the mm. uh, Kahlua pig inside here. And this is a really good fried rice, highly recommended. So this one comes highly recommended. This is the baked fish manakea. 
fresh and wild island baked garlic aioli topped with parmesan panko crust and two pieces of garlic shrimp right on top with mixed veg and your choice of starch which was the right rice the garlic mash or fries so we got the garlic mash this is a full-on meal this looks absolutely delicious we're going to go ahead and try this out the fresh fish today is the opa fish let's try this out this is like a fillet of it oh look at that. very meaty that's it wow that like a mayonnaise aioli and they're a little crispy when they uh, do the little, it's almost like tempura. That's what it's almost crispy like. Panko crusted. Yeah. So it's like panko and they put it under the broiler. You get a little crisp on it. That is delicious. Wow. Let me try out this garlic mash. This can pass at a fine seafood restaurant. Forget about... <laughs> like this tiki bar setting. This is actually like gourmet type of food. I'm impressed. I know you're gonna like it because you're the fish person. Mm -hmm. Cash. The poop house was delicious. It was. I yes. recommend that to anybody. Yes. Now, just right next door is Lure Street Pizza and Ice Cream, mm -hmm. and I think that's going to be the perfect capper for tonight. Yep. And what it kind of flavor you got? late. We got mint chip. Oh, one of our favorites. Mm. Good one, baby. It's oh, a yeah. good capper to walk back to the hotel. It is a perfect capper. It is delicious. Mm -hmm. It is. Yeah. I'm tired. Well, yeah, it's about 11 p.m. now, which is like 2, 2, p, uh, 2 a.m. back in L.A. Yeah. So, yeah, we're going to make our way back, and we'll catch you guys in the in morning. The morning. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. We are here at Island Vintage Coffee we at the are. Royal Hawaiian. It's uh, located upstairs. It opens at 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. um, the kitchen opens at 7.30, though. But the acai bowls, the coffees, and everything is available now. And that's what we got. A couple of acai bowls yes. and some coffee. And so we, uh, we're waiting for it. And we got here at about 6.15, and there's a line. Mm -hmm. Line moves really well, though. So just come order your coffee, get an acai bowl, which we got. And they enjoy. Yeah, and there's a lot of cool stuff inside here too. Uh, some hydro flats. Mm -hmm. I think we're gonna get those. So I'm not an iced coffee person, but this looked really good. This is the Mauna Kea iced coffee. It is iced Kona coffee with sea salt, caramel, drizzle, a scoop of gelato, which you can pick a three or one of three gelatos. And I picked the macadamia nut. The other one was a, a vanilla and a, and a coconut. So I picked the macadamia nut gelato that's on top, plus a black lava sea salt that's on top of here. So I'm gonna go ahead, try this one out. Yeah, you can see that little uh, ice cream floating. Oh, black coffee. It is delicious. Has a little bit of sweetness. Doesn't have any bitterness, so it's a very easy drinking coffee. This right here, this gelato right here, that's with that little bit of drizzle of that caramel. This gelato is eating a cold macadamia nut with a little bit of sweet from that caramel. Oh yeah, you have to try this out, baby. It's like eating a cold macadamia nut. Yeah, it looks really mm. good. And it has macadamia nuts in it. This is a very good iced coffee. And again, I'm not an iced coffee person, but this is very good. Yeah, I got myself just a regular uh, Kona coffee drip. They put the cream in, so it almost mm -hmm. looks like a coffee, a, a latte. Yep, they ask if you want it black or with cream because they put the cream in and then you add your own sugar if you wish. Yeah, so but I tasted it, very good. Here is my acai bowl. On the bottom is acai on top. I got the pineapple mint moana bowl. 
It's pineapple, mint sorbet, local papaya, berries, orga organic granola, big island organic honey on this. So I'm gonna get, this is my pineapple mint sorbet. That's very interesting because I've never mm. seen sorbets with the acai well, bowls. First time. You get that mint flavor, but it's not overbearing. You get the pineapple flavor, it's on the sweet side. You get that pineapple flavor, but it's not like you're biting into a pineapple. But it is delicious. Let's try this acai out. Again, it has honey and organic granola in there. Here's the acai, if you can see inside there. Here it is. Let's go ahead and try this out. Mm. This granola is delicious. Where has this been, where has this been, granola been all my life? And it's amazing. It has a little bit of sweetness to it. Saw it is nice and cold and frozen. Um, and a little bit of that fresh papaya. The fresh local papaya. You know, the ones that we usually stick with a little bit of lemon or lime. Mm -hmm. Very good fresh papaya. A little bit of the honey drizzle. Wow, this is very good. I now, give this a try. I think I know the answer, but how does this compare to the, our other favorite one in Catalina Island? Hmm. Here, here in Hawaii, the atmosphere, the air. Wow. This is really good. This is, to me, very good local acai bowl, as in Catalina Island, it's a very good acai bowl. But this one, because of the local ingredients, you are tasting the flavors of the island right here. I got the original acai bowl here. As you can see, it's got all my favorite ingredients in here, from the granola to the blackberry, bananas, strawberries. I've moved my little flower out the way. And I'm sure it's got a little honey, which I see drizzled on the banana. Oh, there we go, right there. Perfect color. And you said it was nice and cold. It's got a little banana on there. That looks like a good bite. That's one of the first things, is that freshness of that granola. Nice and crunchy. Isn't stale at all. And this acai is nice and cold. This is delicious. Wow. I want that granola on everything, baby. Oh, yeah. Especially with a little bit of honey on it. Game over. It's delicious. This is the perfect size breakfast for us this morning because we have some big lunch plans. Which will be, of course, will be on a separate video, but it's going to be worth watching. So stay tuned for that one. We bought it. We did. We were looking for larger water bottles for us, so we got the Island Vintage one. It is a Hydro Flask one. They're yeah. forty nine ninety nine. They're twenty four ounces. Uh, twenty four ounces. Yeah. But what he likes is that these are flip top. So oh, we're gonna yeah. go fill it up with our water and start walking around. That's perfect. Yep. Like it. It's pretty cool. Just a regular bottle, but it keeps it very cold. It does. We have like so many of these, it's we ridiculous. Do. All different sizes and they keep on bringing more. When you think you have them all, there's always one more. It's around 7.30 right now. The weather is just perfect and people are out. That Island Vintage line was long. And their sit down food area, cause they do sell actual meals. That one uh, was full. People were sitting down getting that table service going. Oh yeah. Yeah, people are up and about. Yeah. And we're gonna go to the ABC store now. Mm -hmm. Let's go walk through some ABC stuff. Everybody loves ABC stores. I got this shirt from there. We're gonna do a quick little uh, shopping and walk through. Let's go. T-shirts, four for 20, not bad. Yeah, they still have uh, good deals. Mm -hmm. And here we go. This is a pretty big, this is a, a big a one, right? Big one. Yeah. Big selection of macadamia nuts. No shortage of them here. Nope, and coffee. 
Oh yeah. Uh, this is pretty good. We actually been to the Lion Coffee factory. We have. Yeah, and look at pretty good. They sell now K cups, baby. Oh, they do. A big pack of K cups. They do. Oh, a little bit of shopping here. I know. I thought we were not going to buy anything here at ABC, but I think we're going to have to. Did you plan that luau that you forgot to bring clothes for? They have it here at ABC. Look at this. Two for 40 and they're matching. And this is a nice pattern. That's actually a really nice pattern. It is. And that's the uh, that's the promotion right there. And they have all different types of uh, color patterns and sizes. And they have these outfits as well for women, of course. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, they yeah. have a lot of stuff. I do like this. <laughs> it's actually kind of nice. I do I like think that pattern. We may have to get it. I know. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> Just about at any ABC store that you see anywhere, they have the uncle's ice cream. Yeah, these, these are delicious. They are. They're all different flavors over here from Ube, cookies and cream. It's a party. I'm not sure what flavor that is. Uh, snickerdoodle. Uh, ice snickerdoodle cream. cookies. Right. And banana chocolate chip and lilikoi. Look at that one. A rich Hawaiian coffee ice cream, baby. Dark chocolate cookie. Oh, I see it right That's there. That's a good one. Oh, my oh, gosh. Maybe yeah. later tonight I'll have to check Maybe. that one out. Maybe. Yeah. For those that are in Vegas. They have it at Leilani's Attic. They have these there as well. What we like about these is excellent. The ice cream is creamy. The cookies are frozen, but they're not hard. They're soft when you eat them. These are pretty delicious. If you haven't tried these, you gotta try these out. Yeah, they're very good. Yeah. You know we have to cover the food. What do we have here? Look at that. Now we were just talking about this, the papaya, and then they give you the piece of lemon or lime with it. Yes. This one's 20% off. It's a dragon fruit cut in halves. They even have them already cut as well. Oh yeah, and look at that, ube. Chiffon cake and, and pies and things. Oh yeah. And behind this, are the some hot food and some of the regular bento boxes yes so you could get these already hot some little bentos of course the musubis all different kind of musubis here and of course some Sushi. of the local favorites mm -hmm. here just grab and go salads sandwiches everything it's good and i thought they had a microwave here or something they give we put warm things up i'm not sure hey look at this you get one hot dog I haven't seen that here. No, I like these little bowls in here. Oh, the bowls, like a yeah. Little bowl here. Let's open this up and see what it is. There's a bento pork here, bento cherry chicken. This is fried rice. Look at that. Oh yeah. Nice and warm. And it's warm in there. And of course, everyone's favorite over here. Lots of musubi. And just to see how much they are. Two thirty-nine. And here's the microwave, babe. Oh, okay. To warm up your food. Yep, in case you get in the refrigerated area and you just want to warm it up. Yep, all different kind of food and snacks. And sandals. Oh, this is a great combination here. Tuna and egg salad, right? But we've tried the sandals and it's just, it's not like Japanese sando. The bread is a little bit more... Um, not as soft as a Japanese sandwich. True, true. Yeah, but, but they're good. Yeah, they are, they are good. Now that you could see, here's a shot of our balcony. This is the city view right behind me, and I think this was listed as a city view. Yes, it was. That's the uh, International Marketplace right down there. You can see the other hotels and mountains in the background. But what's kind of odd is that we're facing other hotel rooms, which you can clearly see. Yeah, it was like, howdy, yeah. neighbors. But if you look beyond that, this is where our ocean, very partial ocean view is. So that's pretty cool. We weren't expecting to see the ocean at all. No, we thought it was only a city view. Yeah. But now we're going to do the resort tour to finish off this opening. short escalator ride to the second floor. There is spa services. This is the Mo Moana Le Lani Spa. Pretty sure it's full services. Also a little bit down the walkway is the gym. 
they have a wide, a wide variety of all the different little machines in there. And I like the view where the ellipticals are. I like the view that you can see over in the street, over there watching people. If you're a people watcher and love to walk, that's the spot for you right there. So here's what the pool looks like here at the Moana Surfrider. Small pool, but it's a nice pool. It is. Uh, it goes up to... Uh, looks like, yeah, three feet to six feet Six so. feet, yeah, yeah, six feet. And the beach is just right here. Here's a little surf rider cafe that has small little breakfast items here and, and grab and go drinks. Yeah, and perfect here. little walk up. Yeah. There's a restaurant on property here. It's called the Beach House. Check in with the host and they most likely will get you seated. A lot of seating open. And then out here under the banyan tree, this is all open seating. So go get your vintage Honolulu vintage coffee because the Honolulu, the Honolulu Coffee Company is in this building. Go grab it and come and enjoy the seating out here. It's beautiful. Oh, hey, just go to ABC and get your food and, just and chill over here. Chill over here. Yeah. This is our resort. It is right on the beach. It is beautiful. So for the price, yeah, I think it's worth it, especially you have beach access, access from your hotel. Oh yeah, it is, it is literally just a couple steps away to the beach. And it's uh, beautiful out yep, here. It's a lot of outdoor seating. Right now in the morning, it's open outdoor seating. I think later in the day or maybe on the weekends, it is the beach bar is open maybe. And I know from the restaurant, I know they have daily entertainment. I know at, in the evening until like 10 p.m. So you're looking at the beach, listening to entertainment, having a Mai Tai or a pina colada. What more can you ask? I mean, yeah, what was it, 600 bucks a night, baby, for uh, this room? Yeah, 565, yeah. something like that. Yeah, so I, for us, because look at where we are, it is worth it. That's going to be a wrap for this vlog and uh, the tour of the Moana Surfrider. Mm -hmm. it, and the, the dinner, the late night eat that we had and the breakfast this oh, morning. Oh, the pooper house was mm -hmm. amazing. And the walking of everything else, yeah. If, if, if location, location, your location is your thing, we recommend this hotel. Yeah. Uh, we got that price. It was on his Hotel Tonight app and it was because it's last minute. I'm pretty sure if you kind of plan in advance it'd be a lot cheaper yeah yeah you never you know? know yeah mm -hmm. but you know we had no choice but to do it last minute so right. you know the price is what it was right right uh yeah so you know where we're staying at is almost equivalent to like the las vegas strip yes yeah there's mm -hmm. so many stores and you know upscales restaurants mm -hmm. and such so it's mm -hmm. uh it's a fun place yeah it is it is and and you know what we we were just looking out and we were when we were eating breakfast this morning we we're looking out and it's like you know what this is the strip of Hawaii, the strip of Waikiki, huh, baby? Yeah. There's so many new restaurants here and everything. Uh, we know we're going to cover, not on this trip, a few of them, but we'll do it on future trips. We're going to cover a few of those restaurants on this strip of Waikiki. Oh, yeah. There's a lot. There's a lot. That's so a good name. Yeah. Strip of Waikiki. That's huh, right. It, you might have coined something. Uh, maybe. Yeah, shout outs, babe. Yes, I do. Koi and Lisa, happy anniversary. Kathy and Nick, happy anniversary. Shirley, happy birthday. Nancy Cato, happy birthday. Amos, happy birthday. Jamie Marie, happy birthday. Karen, happy birthday. Eloina, happy birthday. Pam, happy birthday. Sheldon, happy birthday. And Sister Sharon, Sister she is Sharon. Uh, in Mililani. She okay. came to see me at Trader Sam's and uh, she and her ohana came okay. and dropped yeah. off an omeyage. Oh, nice, Thank nice. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Thank we, you. we love all of our ohana. Yes, and mm -hmm. happy birthday to everybody. Well, thanks everybody for watching. This is uh, this is part one vlog, so yeah. you know, there'll be a couple more, so stay tuned for those. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one.